Hey there, everybody. Don Evans here from watchreport.com, and today I have another Meister Singer. So, if you saw the previous Meister Singer video, I'll link that up in the right hand corner that you could check that out. That was the Southora Meta X. If you saw that one, I mentioned that I had another one to review. This is the Astroscope. And this is a very different watch from that uh, Meta X. That one was diver inspired, very sporty. This is more of your classic elegant dress style piece, business suit style piece, whatever you may. And it's also different in how you tell the time. Uh, obviously, I'll get into that throughout the review. Let me go ahead and give you the entire specifications. First of all, your retail price on this is $2,295. This came to me from Meister Singer US. I will have the link down in the description below. You are looking at a 40 millimeter stainless steel case, 10.5 millimeters thick, 20 millimeter lug width, 47 millimeter lug to lug or length of the case. It is a domed sapphire crystal. You have an SW220 movement with added module designed by Meistersinger. The days of the week with their respective celestial bodies, more on that in the review. You have your date at the six o'clock, it has a leather strap with crocodile grain. So that is your specs and a uh, quick overview, if you will, of this Meister Singer Astroscope. It is a very interesting watch, as I said, with how you actually tell the time. Uh, days of the week are easy. The celestial bodies thing is where Astroscope, of course, comes in. A uh, little strange, in my opinion. And also the fact that this is actually, you're never gonna be able to tell down to the minute. And of course, there is no second hand at all. So if you're an accuracy nut, this is not going to be the watch for you. But let's go ahead, let's discuss this. Let's get into the full review. All right, so if this is your first time here, hello and welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you never miss any of our content. And hey, while you're at it, head over to Instagram. It is at Watch Report, and you could follow us there as well. And if you want to see all of our content there, they now have a notification bell as well. So you could choose uh, either to see our posts and be notified, Instagram stories, uh, Instagram videos, etc. cetera. Uh, everything has a notification bell this day, it seems, because they all put this algorithm in place, which we've all found out really doesn't work that well uh, for all the special content that we wanna see. So now we have notification bells to alert us 65 times a day when all of our favorites are uploading content. Anyway, it is what it is, and I'd appreciate the follow and the notification bell being clicked. So let's go ahead and get into this Meister Singer Astroscope. So there's a lot of information I want to get out here, and I don't want to make this a very long video, and I'll get into more of this dial and the complication in the written review. But basically, let's just go ahead and lay it out for you here. You have a single hour hand on the dial. And the way you tell time here is obviously you can see, you know, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. You set that hour hand like you would normally set any hour hand on any watch. But the difference comes into is the minutes and the seconds. Your minutes are only going to be five minute increments here. So in when uh, intervals here. So when you look at there, you could see, and it takes a while to move this hour hand around the dial. So I could show you the days of the week and show you how uh, all this functions there on video, but it's 305, 310, 315, and then a big marker, you know, for 330 there, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to take you some time and you're going to have to kind of squint to tell exactly what time it is. And you're not going to know when it's 303, if you will, you're only going to know when it's 305 and, and 310, etc. So five minute increments. And then of course you have no running seconds at all. And of course you're not going to, when you have a single handed watch such as this, then we get into the days of the week. So let's concentrate on the days of the week here first. Uh, they 
show up with a white dot and when you're moving around the dial here and it changes uh, to the next day, you're going to see it moving back and forth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read directly from the Meister Singer website because I, I think they give the best information and instead of me putting in my own words would be the best way to tell you about the celestial bodies. So Monday is the moon, Tuesday is Mars, Wednesday Mercury, Thursday Jupiter, Friday Venus, Saturday is Saturn, and Sunday the sun. With these celestial bodies and their classic symbols, the, astroco uh, the astroscope shows the days of the week not in a linear or radial fashion, but wandering back and forth in constellation that only occurs every 10 to 12 years in the southern night sky of the northern hemisphere. Again in July 2020, with the exception of the sun of course, all the celestial bodies of the weekdays will be visible there at the same time. The astroscope stylizes this formation on its dial. A bright dot appears on Monday at about 12 o'clock at the moon symbol and the next day to the right at the Mars symbol. On Wednesday it appears next to Mercury at about 9 o'clock. On Thursday the next to Jupiter at 3 o'clock. This is amazing and yet easy to understand as the time when displayed with only one hand, but because no Meister Singer watch has ever had such a long and beautiful history as the Astroscope, it comes with a brochure that describes this horse, excuse me, this historical background in detail and also explains the wandering point of the day. In reality, it does not jump back and forth. Under the dial, the large weekday disc with a number of bright dots on it moves one step further from one day to the next, always moving in a circle, just as it is in the world of celestial mechanics. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't understand any of that. I'm going to assume a lot of you don't either. But what you have here is a unique looking dial. This is the black radium dial, as they call it. This also comes in blue. And you have a unique way for the days of the week. I personally don't really understand the whole celestial part of it and everything. And if you do, I think that's awesome. Obviously, even more of a reason for you to be interested in this piece. Looking at it just from a elegant dress style watch, it is unique. Obviously, you have that single hour hand, uh, you know, complication here. Um, the dial is attractive looking, e even though I don't really, I guess, appreciate the celestial part of it. I do like the way the dial looks. The loom is actually very nice as well. Uh, the loom, they pretty much loomed almost everything on the dial, which is a nice, uh, a nice touch. Looks great. You have that dual color loom going on. So very cool there. As far as the case design, it's a polished 40 millimeter case, nice classic lug design. You do have kind of that pilot style crown. When you flip it around to the case back, you have, uh, you know, that exhibition case back showing off that movement. Uh, the rotor really isn't overly designed, nor is the movement. Um, it doesn't look too bad though. Uh, it's pretty nice looking and you could see that parts of the mo movement are very highly polished and they really reflect nicely. So there's a, uh, I guess a touch of class when you look at that as opposed to being uh, an all brushed finished movement. The high polish is really nice about it. Uh, the strap is a leather strap. It is not real crocodile. It is faux crocodile and you have a pretty mundane uh, buckle here. I personally, at this price, would like to see a real crocodile or alligator strap. I mean, we're talking over $2,000 here. We're talking $2,200 retail price. Um, I'm just not a big fan of, you know, it's a real leather strap, but I'm not a big fan of the faux grain. And, you know, endangered species, or you don't want to use crocodile or real crocodile or alligator, I get, then just do a really nice leather strap leave the grain off of it. When it comes to the buckle, I talked about this with the last Meister Singer, excuse me, Meister Singer that I reviewed, and the buckle is just so plain for the price of this watch, uh, and especially on a leather strap like this, uh, where it's gonna really show the creases. I want a dual deployant. Uh, it would be much nicer looking and wear much better in the long term as well. 
I think overall, this is another unique piece. And let's face it, if you are looking at a Meister Singer piece, if you are interested in buying a Meister Singer piece, you are looking for unique, you're looking for, you know, one off, you're looking for different, you're not looking for your normal, everyday style of watch. And that is exactly what this is. Um, you're not also looking for the most accurate watch because you're just not going to be able to set this absolutely accurately, nor are you gonna be able to have the exact minute or any seconds as well. Um, you can see it really well in the dark though. And uh, I like the way the day of the week thing works. I don't really understand the celestial thing myself, but it is another unique feature added to this watch. So if you want to see more about this Meister Singer Astroscope, go ahead down in the description, click the links over to watchreport.com. I'll have the link to Meister Singer US as well. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. I'm not exactly sure when this video will be airing, but I want to say thank you all for uh, supporting us again this year and watching all of our videos. Please don't be afraid to comment down below with any questions or comments that you have. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you on the next one.